As a follow-up to the security address President Yuri Museven gave to Parliament last week, he held a meeting with MPs to discuss security. The engagement at the President's office conference hall lasted for about eight hours. Due to the sensitivity of the meeting, the media was barred from the meeting while MPs were not allowed to go in with their phones. Chief of Defense Forces General David Mhozi, Inspector General of Police John Martin Zokotho Chora, and other heads of security and intelligence agencies also attended the meeting. Sources that attended the meeting told NTV that many of the MPs raised concern on the laxity in police in responding to crime. Some MPs claimed that police had worked with criminal gangs to torture civilians, especially at the former high security detention facility in Nalfenya in Jinja. The president reported and told the legislators that the previous police leadership under General Kare Kaihura had abandoned the established police structures and depended more on civilians and informal groups who at times gave wrong intelligence information. The president also spoke of impunity in the forces, especially with junior officers committing crimes and going scot-free. Yeah, there was something about Kaihura because President Seven said the General Kaihura had gone too much into the population because when they came from the bush, they talked about the principle of working with the population. But Kale Kaihura made the mistake of working like the population and becoming like the population. For him, he accepted to work with, with the population but not to become like them. That General Kale Kaihura had overstepped their, their principle. That was why his, his work method killed the systems within the police. Obongi County MP and FDC member Caps Fungaro asked the president not to criminalize the opposition and also allow them to sit on the National Security Council. The president welcomed the idea of the opposition sitting on the National Security Council, but he highlighted instances where some have engaged in subversive activities. Why is it that the leader of the opposition or the representative of the leader of the opposition, like the Sado Minister of Defense or the Sado Minister of Internal Affairs, are not, uh, these people are not included in meetings to do with national security matters. Why is it that when it comes to times of elections, NRM is fused with the police, with the army, with the intelligence services? Sources also told NTV how some NRM MPs told the president that the police officers assigned to guard them had abandoned them. Others revealed that the police officers were now unwilling to sit with the MPs in the same cars. The president then directed the UPDF to take over the security of these MPs who feel insecure and that government will give them separate cars for the UPDF guards. But the measures given, also MPs reported those who are given escorts by the system, by the president, in terms of police, that the police are running away. Police are saying instead of escorting a member of parliament, he better goes home. Because moving with a member of parliament, escorting a member of parliament is a very big risk for them. And, 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 uh, and uh, upon that, the president reacted uh, uh, badly, in my view, because he said that the police officers who refused to work with the members of parliament protecting them should be sacked, and he ordered the minister and the IGP, actually summoned the IGP to come there, and uh, Madame Grace Akulu to come there to, to give reports about... Kampala Central MP Mohamed Nsereko tasked the president to explain the long detention of Mokono Municipality MP Betty Namboze before she was granted police bond to seek treatment in India. However, Nsereko faced hostility from NRM MPs, who did not want Numbers' issues raised in the meeting. It is said the president accused Numbers of indiscipline, warning that she would be prosecuted upon her return from India over the social media comments she made after a woman inspired MP Ibrahim Abidiga was killed. So he said he agrees that she should be taken for treatment, but she, he has reservation on her conduct. But we all, I, I insisted that respect for human rights and dignity must be given priority in this country if we are to fight crime. Other issues of concern included prosecution of Muslims, forgery of national identity cards, the Polish borders, and lack of a legal framework to implement some of the nine security measures the president laid out last week. Habat Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.